Okay, what I'm looking at today is we have a new integral. We have the integral of dx over x to the fourth plus one. So let's get started with this. My first thought was we could complete the square and factor out this denominator in a way that we could use partial fractions. But I actually really don't like partial fractions very much, especially when I can see it's gonna be messy. So I'm gonna to try to avoid that and do something else. You can notice in our numerator, it's just a one right here. A lot of these integrals like this, you can see we can't really do a u substitution with what we have in the um, numerator. There's not a lot to work with, but these kind of cases usually call for something where we kind of create something in the numerator, adding and subtracting something. And what I want to look at is, I actually know, this is not very intuitive, but I know that I can integrate something that looks like this, x squared plus one over x to the fourth plus one. And I also know that I can integrate something like x squared minus one over x to the fourth plus one. So I'm comfortable with these. And what I wanna do is kinda of try to force these terms into the numerator so that I can integrate, but I also have to do it in a way that I get back to a one. What we could do is we can, if we subtract these, let's see what happens. The x squareds are gonna cancel out, so that's just nothing. Distributing in our minus here, we're ending up with one plus one, so this is just two. When we have a one in the numerator, that's not hard to fix. We can just multiply this whole thing by one half, and now we have one. And then since this piece, all this stuff over here is just one, what I'm gonna do is bring this into my numerator and just replace that and try to integrate this thing. Okay, so I've rewritten this, and again, this whole thing here is just one. So I haven't done anything to change this yet. What I can do next is pull my half outside of the integral and put that in front. And then let's split this into two integrals. Okay, so now I have this all split up the way we like it, just distributing the half on both, and there was the minus sign between these, so that's how we got all this. And now we have two integrals, and they may not be simple, but we've got more to work with, and I think these are gonna work out okay. So let's do these separately. We'll look at the one on the left here. What I'm gonna do is a trick that I've done in other videos. We're gonna multi just multiply the numerator and the denominator over here by one over x squared and distribute this in here. When we do that, we're gonna have one half, one plus one over x squared in the numerator, dx, and then doing this in the denominator, x to the fourth times one over x squared is gonna be x squared, and then multiplying this, and we're gonna have one over x squared. And before I go ahead with this one, let's do the same thing actually on the right integral. So I'm gonna have a one over x squared, we're gonna multiply this through top and bottom. And I wanna do something with this denominator. We'd like to get it where we can use, like I'd like to get this to look more like an arctan formula or something with just one x term. So let's see how we factor this. I have a couple options with these denominators. We could say, we could write it as x plus one over x squared. Noticing, okay, that's gonna be x squared plus one over x squared, but then we have a two that we have to subtract off. Okay, so that expression is gonna be the same as our denominator. Or we could write this as x minus one over x. Noticing again, we get x squared plus one over x squared, but then there's a minus two, so we have to add two. But how do we choose which one of these we wanna use? And really what it's gonna be, it's gonna be all about the sign in the numerator, because we're gonna be doing a u substitution. We want the sign to be the opposite of what we have here. When we differentiate this, this is gonna bring a minus sign here. If we differentiate this, a minus on this power times this minus is gonna give a plus. Okay, so now you'll see that we've chosen our two different factorings based on the sign in the numerator. Now let's see how this goes. What we'll do here is I'm gonna make this my u, and just so we use a different variable, we'll call this t. So that means u is gonna be x minus one over x. And this, this piece here is actually, we can think of this as x to the minus one. So then our du is gonna be one plus one over x squared. And then over here with our t equal to x plus one over x. Again, that's x minus one. So then our dt is gonna be one minus one over x squared. And then just notice that what we have here is exactly our dt. And what we have here is exactly our du. So we're in good shape to do a substitution, but let me clean up the board to get more space. So next I'm just gonna make this substitution. We're gonna have one half. We'll have du over u squared plus two. I'm gonna write this as square root of two 
square because it's going to set up our integral nicer. Then we're going to minus one half dt over t squared minus, and we'll do the same thing. Okay, next we have formulas we can use for each of these integrals. So let's start with the one on the left here. We're just going to bring down our half, and then we're going to use this formula where our square root of 2 is going to be our a value. So just plugging that in, we're going to have 1 over a, which is square root of 2, tan inverse arctan, and then we're going to have u over square root of 2. Bring down our minus half, then next we're going to use this formula, which uses the um, inverse hyperbolic tangent. So then we just be careful with the sign. We need a minus 1 over a again is square root of 2. So we're going to have minus 1 over square root of 2. Tanch inverse t over square root of 2. Now that's left, we just need to back substitute. Just going to get some more space. Okay, just left this on the board and we're going to try to finish it off right here. So let's first just kind of multiply this together. We're going to have 1 over 2 square root of 2. Tan inverse. And then for our u, I'm actually, let me just get a um, common denominator. I'm going to write this u as x squared minus 1 over x. And I'm going to write this t as x squared plus 1 over x, just getting a common denominator and putting that together. So then here we're going to have for tan inverse, our u being x squared minus 1 over x, but don't forget the square root of 2. And here I'm going to multiply in this minus half, so we're going to have plus 1 over 2 square root of 2, hyperbolic tanch inverse. Then our t, we did this thing, so we're going to have x squared plus 1 over square root of 2x plus c. Okay, that's it. So I don't know if that was shorter than partial fractions, but it seemed to work out pretty good once we split it into two integrals. So we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.